Now let's look at how do we uh, arrange a columns. So when you have submitted uh, your JCL, so you are seeing uh, different columns there. So I wanted specific columns to be arranged in different order. So how do we do that? So we use a command called as ARR followed by a question mark. So how to do that? We'll connect to the mainframe and see. So now let me uh, go to spool, okay, uh, st. So now you can see you have multiple jobs here. So when I press question mark here, or let me take this specific, um, or the one, yeah. So this one will take it, okay. So now what you have here, uh, here you can see there are different options here. Uh, different columns here the first name shows the ready name okay let's see here itself first uh, you have column name job name job id owner priority uh, staff system status and uh, uh, pre-printed destination local so all these are there so i want maximum written code to be uh, available in this specific uh, queue place or after owner i wanted to see that so how do how do we get this max rc to here so that it will be easy for me to check okay so whether the job was run actually uh, with a zero or error it at a quick glance i wanted to see instead of pressing f11 and going back there and seeing them right so what do you type arrange question mark okay as if it is not working so let's come back with sd okay so we will enter into this problem uh, sd and then ARR question mark here okay now uh, we entered into the ISPF mode so now if you read here select a column or block with slash or forward slash then type A after or before okay so where is that maximum yes so I have this call forward slash where do you want this I want this after priority or queue okay let me take after priority okay that's it now you can see after priority the maximum condition code is appeared here so that's way you can change the order of the columns within the SDSF so this is really helpful so this helps you a lot so when you submitted JCL so now you can see uh, what are the different options that are uh, what is my maximum return condition code of these particular steps so now if you look at here so the first time when I ran it it ran good with zero and when second time it went into error and four time it went into error so these two are the just the scans of the JCL so that's the reason you don't see any message so that's how it helps you a lot.